Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 11.3, and today I want to take those loops that I created and show you how to chop them up. Uh, I don't know that I did a perfect job or anything on this, but I had just gone through, and the only thing I did in between sessions that I can't undo, is, <laughs> since I had to re-record -re this video, is I just did a truncate on all these loops, for better or worse. But anyway, I just want to show you kind of how to chop these things up. We're going to take each pad and chop it into a different uh, pad bank or sample bank just so that we can have as much flexibility as we want. Um, to get into chopping mode, I think I've showed this before, but you hold shift and hit the start slash end button, which will get you into chop. Right now we've got a, well, that's it. I, I could tap these out. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, so what, what I want to do is do auto mark. I want to do it by time division first. I'm going to show you this. So time division, 16, just hit enter. We're going to lose all of our chop marks. That's fine. So these two sound fine. I can already tell by looking at the, uh, the zoom here. These are not lining up very well <laughs> on their marks. It seems like it, I mean, it seems like it's okay for a lot of this. Maybe maybe the uh, view wasn't great that I was looking at. These all actually look pretty good. So I'm not actually not going to do anything else. But one thing to note is because of the way that the breakbeat was, some of the, like this one, number three, it's not the hit is lining up, but it's kind of in some different sounds. So to kind of keep the timing we're probably going to want to make sure we're recording any patterns at 115 bpm otherwise it might sound kind of janky or another trick would be to make sure that you have gate mode on for all of these hits just so that it only plays as much as you want for when you hold it hold the button the pad down and i might actually do that just because I, I can show you kind of kind of a few different things as we build up drum patterns and stuff. So I guess at the moment I'm happy with this. I'm just going to go to menu and I want to do assign to pad. Now what you're going to see right here is it's blinking for ones that are available to assign to. We've already got the five loops on uh, bank A. I'm going to switch to bank B for the drums and just start kind of assigning them down. Mentally when I have a chop, um, when I do this on the MPC it goes this way so 13 through 16 9 through 12 all the way up to 1 through 4 so i'm just going to assign them that way but you're more than ha welcome to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 it just depends on how you your brain kind of thinks so i'm just assigning all of these real quick now that gets us all set i can adjust whether i want gate on or off as i said i'm using control 3 here i'm just going to switch it to all the way clockwise to have gate on hit enter to chop so and then we will now so now i have some control for all of these i can play the note or hold it so i can play the second note that's behind it it can be just fun for getting some different variations on some of your sounds and stuff so uh first one's done let's go this pad that's going to be kind of goofy um i i would say you know sometimes you want to do transients sometimes you want to do time division i usually like to kind of just see what, what sounds like it's going to work i'm going to do 16 again we're going to just try time division and see how this sounds I mean, it sounds kind of fun I'm not worried about it being 100% perfect. So we'll do another one, assign to pads. And this time I don't want gate on, I want gate off. Again, we're gonna wanna go to bank C. I'm just gonna knock the pads out real quick, chop it. And let's get back to bank A again. So this is the synth sound. For this, I'm actually thinking I might do this a little differently for chopping it. So what I want to do here is, again, we're going to go to Shift Chop. And 
I'm just curious. Is, instead of doing time division, if whoop, uh, if I do transient, let's see what we do, get if we do hard. Uh, we'll do soft. I'm just curious. Like, what does it give us? It gives us 15 pads. I'm get. Feels like I'm getting some blank pads in here. Nothing on it, but like a little pop. That doesn't seem terribly fun to me. Um, let's try another auto mark. Let's try instead of transient. Let's do hard. And just see what we get. It gets gives us almost nothing. I mean, this could be kind of fun to then go in and put like looping on or something. Let's see what you get. But I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to have all the sounds here or as much as we can. Um, let's see. What about level? Uh, level three. Let's see what we get. We're getting more of it. So I don't know. I'm kind of happy with like doing it with level instead of having to necessarily break this up as uh, time division all the time. So let's do this. We're going to assign a pad. Now we're on D. D should be good. We're good. Uh, gate on. We want gate on for this. We'll turn it on. That's totally playable. I think that that just sounds kind of fun to me. Uh, back to bank A. We do base. So shift chop, and let's try auto mark again. I go. Whoop. What am I doing? Losing my mind. Uh, let's do level. We'll do level three again. Let's just kind of see how that comes out. Okay, we're gonna lose them. That's fine. Getting an empty one. It's okay. I'm not super in love with it though. Um, let's try. I'm gonna try time division 16. Let's just see. And just so you guys know, uh, it doesn't really matter. Like sometimes it can be fun to just chop stuff up with a different time division, like. 15 or 3. This seems pretty playable. So I, I like how those sounds with time division. So I'm just going to assign this to pads. We're on bank D. Now we're on bank E now. Which means, uh, well, it's fine. I was gonna say, I have to do it. One of these is gonna be on a bank F, I guess, which is fine. So that gets us this. One more to do. Bank A. That's our little synth kind of sound. And shift chop. Um, let's go to auto mark. Just do, I'm just going to do time division 16 again. I'll just see if it sounds okay. So the only thing with this is... The only thing with this uh, that I'm just noticing is some of the sounds, some of the pads have almost no sound on them. Which is okay. I, I'm kind of thinking it's making me consider doing uh, either level or transient. Let's do level mid. Now we have all, only. I mean, it's fine, but. 
try hard, maybe. Yeah, it's just it's oh, we getting a little too crazy here. One more try, soft, Oop. soft, okay. Actually, soft up is doing the same thing as mid. So I know this is getting to be a long video, but let's just try level three. See what that does. Same. Auto mark level two. Same. All right. Well, this has been fun. I'm going back to time division 16. <laughs> we'll just use it like that. As I said, I just want you guys to kind of see there's like some different ways that you can break these up. That's fun. All right. Assign to pad. We now need to go to bank F. Should be good. All right, guys. Well, hopefully that helps give you some ideas for chopping and how to kind of go about doing it, some different ways to think about it. Definitely try different things. Don't always just do time division. I think sometimes transients or level, it's definitely worth checking out sometimes, especially if you have like these really long uh, loops that you don't necessarily want the whole thing. It could be a good way to chop stuff up. Anyway, uh, next sessions, we'll start getting into making some patterns out of some of these loops that we've chopped up and see if we can make a song out of it. Uh, keep making uh, beats, keep chopping, have fun, peace.